The purpose of my speech is to inform my audience about the importance of mental health. Does someone in your life, or even you, suffer from any type of mental illness? This can vary from a person suffering from anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, ADD, or ADHD. We hear so much about how many people who have issues with severe anxiety. So this is something that you hear about at least once in your life, or even during your day for that matter. I want to share with you today how much it is important for us to understand what it means to suffer from one of these disorders and how much having these issues can affect a person's daily life. To start, the human brain is one of the most complex organs in the human body and everybody's brain is not the same in how it is made up. When a person suffers from anxiety, this alone can cause different parts of a person's brain to promote hyperactivity. Anxiety is a disorder that can permanently alter a person's brain and how it is compromised. The more that a person suffers from these disorders, the more that it can cause a person to lose long-term memory and can even cause them to develop depression or even dementia. Many people, now that we have talked about the many effects that anxiety can have on a person's health or even a brain, let us talk more about what anxiety does to the person who suffers from it. Many people who suffer from anxiety will have issues being being able to cope with their daily life, which whether it be work, social anxiety, or just be around anybody. And that can make it hard for them to be around people in certain social situations. There are many people who suffer on a daily basis. What anxiety can do to you as a person, and some of these include physical changes. The types of physical changes that a person can suffer from can be headaches, they can feel sick to their stomach, and it can cause their blood pressure to be high because of the stress and the anxiety that their body is going through. <laughs> the final thing that I want to talk about is the many different ways to treat these mental health issues. While there are many different ways to treat anxiety and depression, some of these include taking medications in order to be able to cope with daily life while suffering from anxiety. A person could simply learn how to treat their anxiety without medication, and these include methods such as learning different type of, types of relaxation methods, and you can also learn to focus on other things around you that would take your mind off of an anxiety attack. Everybody has different ways that they, that they want to deal with anxiety. I know I, for hand, I deal with anxiety with counting to or I, I, I take a deep breath in and I count to 10. And then I will focus on 10 or five things that I can see and five things that I can touch. That helps me get rid of an anxiety attack without having to take any type of medication. Um, another way Another way, another common way people to deal with their anxiety would be to try to seek out therapy from a psychiatrist. That allows you to be able to sit and talk with a person about how you're feeling and the problems that may be causing your anxiety or mental disorder. Talking to somebody or a psychiatrist can help because it allows you to express your feelings and get those feelings out. And the more you talk about them, the more that it helps. In conclusion, the purpose of this speech was to bring awareness to the fact that almost all of us suffer from some form of mental illness, whether it be because you have one or someone that you know who suffers from some kind of mental illness. I think that it is important for us as a whole to understand that these disorders can be a real problem for someone who is trying to function in normal society, especially when there are so many people around who do not believe that mental disorders 
are a real illness. There needs to be more ways to get people to understand that just because a person does not physically look sick, then they must be lying. Because that is just people who do not understand the true nature of how these disorders can affect someone's brain on a daily basis. I think that there's so much stipulation with how people try to perceive somebody who suffers from anxiety or even post-traumatic stress disorder or any kind of mental illness. And I think it's up to us to raise awareness to the fact that this is a real problem and people are suffering from it on a daily basis.